On today's sit down, I am so excited to have a absolute power couple in our studio, Quentin and Bernice. They run a channel called La Hawa. They make funny relationship videos that are on point, funny, impactful, and leave you sometimes with your mouth drop this low. So I'm super excited to have, it's my first interview where I have two people at the same time. The very funny, very interesting, very down to earth power couple. Welcome to our show. Thank Thanks, you. Bobby. Thank it's you. A, it's a pleasure. It's always uh, nice yeah. to know that people actually want to talk to us regarding our show. My friend, the whole country wants to talk to you, <laughs> averaging 150,000 views on, on your videos. Well done. Mm. Congratulations yes, on your success. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was uh, quite a surprise. Uh, obviously, it started back in the day not knowing that it's going to be so popular, mm. just making videos because that's part of my life. And now the demand is there and we have to supply. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. But it's fun. But it's it fun. is fun. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's very rewarding to see the people like it. So mm. that's why we're doing it. very hard to have a working relationship with your spouse mm. oh, yes. it's, it's it's damn near impossible so obviously you've been through a journey as a married couple to be able to be comfortable and confident enough to mm. do this yeah. you know as an everyday everyday hobby if I may yeah you know? yeah well in all honesty like the law hour it started it obviously we didn't plan it mm. so it literally just started I was in my uh in, in, we were sitting in bed and he said okay we just want to quickly make a video it's just mm. a funny thing i got no makeup on i'm not prepared for anything and then all of a sudden we make this video and the people started phoning us afterwards saying i got the video on whatsapp and it's so funny and i'm like no that was not supposed to happen i don't have makeup on i've got nothing on there so it didn't really start off as it as we obviously thought it would or planned um but yeah working together is one thing living together is another yeah. <laughs> and then raising two children is an extra yeah. part so it's it's got its challenges, but it's fun, I must say. Yeah, it's, 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 it's fun and it's not always easy. I think we we are blessed yeah. working together on something like this. Definitely, um, yeah. It's funny video, so it's not, it's not very stressful. It's more stressful for me. Yeah, yeah. She just picks yeah, I, up I for, just... for the videos <laughs> and then we shoot content. Of course, uh, that's yeah. what a star does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She yeah. Lives in a, to do everything. I always say she lives in a trailer. Yeah, yeah. A uh, uh, trailer I, at, at, at the, the setup and yeah. then she only comes out. Uh, I just when do my own makeup and eat that so When the serious, when yeah, the serious she goes back, yeah, yeah. eating a, a platter and everything. But that's, that's why I'm there, you know. <laughs> I need to make the that, show. So. That's, that's how you get all those views. Yeah. Yes. So let me, <laughs> let me jump back into mm. a little bit of history. Mm. So a lot of couples, um, you know, can learn from the way that you interact with each yeah. other. You know, coming into our studio, I watch... I watch people very closely mm. and you guys have a beautiful relationship. There's an ultimate <laughs> trust. You really do. I'm not oh, just thank saying you. that. Okay. <laughs> That's a, nice to know. <laughs> you, you know, you, you guys are humble, yeah. ultimate trust. You yes. are looking at everything you want to yeah. learn. Yeah. Like, mm. what can I grab out of this experience? Yeah. I love that. What can I but, steal from this? Not uh, well, well, <laughs> It's, it's, it's all relevant because I steal all the time with yeah. my eye. If I, if I like an idea, yeah. That's how it works. Yeah, you have yeah. to implement it in your mm. own life yeah. so that it serves you. Yeah. But where did you two meet? Are you high school sweethearts? Did you meet? <laughs> where did you meet? I think there's a story. Uh, yeah. There is a story. Um, Actually on the platform that we are now, yeah. we so kind you, of met. Yeah, basically it's funny. on Facebook back in the day when Facebook only started. Yeah. Okay. So that's about 13 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so at both, our workplace. Both of us uh, were in relationships or came out of relationships. Yeah. Okay. And um, one day a mutual friend of ours told us, listen, or told me, listen, you need to go and add Bernice on Facebook. And like I said, back in the day, Facebook only started. And... At that time, I believed that you can't add someone on Facebook as a friend if you're not friends, friends in you real life. You have to be life. like friends. You can't? Uh, well, that was what <laughs> when people told me. When people told me, listen, I've added 
been given a vest and on Facebook and she accepted like, my friend request. Was that like, was a big deal. Was, yeah, yeah. How can you do that? You can't re add just somebody. But then anyway, so I said to the friend, I'm not going to add her. And then one day I went through Facebook looking at the friend list of this mutual friend. And as I was scrolling, I scrolled past this photo of a girl looking like a model sitting like this. So I was like, <laughs> no. this is a hot girl. Uh, and anyway, going, yeah. going, and I was like, okay, no, wait. Go back. Go back. It's... It's the one that I needed to add. That's Bernice Buerta. <laughs> okay. The Bernice Buerta that I needed to add. And uh, yeah. Yeah. And it just started. And we there. started basically, it was not love at first. No, no. We, we were kind of friends, you know, chatted and went out. And because we were both like raw out of relationships, we kind of needed to give it space. And I just said to him, listen, what's going on here? You need to now make a decision. Yeah, but our first, our first, <laughs> and we've then, met, our first time that we met was basically at... Lengte dag. Ja, ja, ja. Tix okay. lengte dag. At Sinbin. That was the at first Sinbin. time. At Yes. Yes. Ja, ja, ja. That was Sinbin. the biggest event of the year. Always <laughs> prep for that. Got the body and shape. Yeah, and yeah. Everything got the hair. Yeah, yeah. Calorie counts for 12 and weeks before you get there. Ripped. Obviously yeah. walking That's without his <clears throat> shirt the whole day. Is there any other way? Yes. Yeah, he doesn't have right, any yeah. shirts in his closet. So he <laughs> had to literally walk like that. Yeah. And That's length of yeah, you yeah. need to be you need to, you need to be on point in the body. But we haven't seen good. each other in in person, so we've met each other on Facebook. And my friends told me, "Listen, to this guy walking around, but he's like the hottest one." And I said, "Okay, that's fine. I just need to meet Quentin because I know he's also here." And then he's walking past, and they're like freaking out. It's him, it's him. And then all of and I'm like, "Oh goodness, okay, this is the guy I need to meet as well." So oh, the bucky as well, Bob. Yeah, and then <laughs> presentation, the my friend. Yeah, so so he saw I was sold. Then no, and then, no, no, no. And, and then, then afterwards, we we cared the little bit. Yeah, then we like we. Said, it was not love, and then eventually it came together. We just decided. But it's a Facebook thing. A we met over uh, at Facebook. And now we work. Everything is now related to Facebook. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. 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 It's full circle. So yeah. Interesting, <laughs> interesting, and going back even deeper in your past, I'll let the lady go first. Mm. Who were you at 17? High school. You know, like, everything you know. opposite f uh, as from what, I, what you're seeing today. Um, yes, um, I was in high school my whole career. Well, my whole life uh, past high school. I was this very shy, uh, low, self-confident um, girl. You know, I was just there. I wasn't someone who shown a lot of um, potential, whatever. So, yeah, I was just a... a, a normal girl going to school doing what I needed to do nothing really <laughs> special about me so that's that's who I was I was really just a low esteem actually very mm. low confident uh, shy no one knew I was like in school but I was there that's how I see myself I don't know did you but have good grades I'd have average grades <laughs> yeah. okay, just I was so thing, lazy I, I didn't want to study my parents always said if you just study you can actually you can actually pass with like higher grades but no uh, I did good, but not, no, I wasn't like a, a bookworm. I think you're a very creative person and maybe, you know, the subjects that you, you chose didn't stimulate that creativity yeah. to help you jump out of your yeah, skin yeah. and say, here I am. Yeah. But the business economics kind of actually triggered me. I love that subject for some reason and I can see why, because now in my career, I'm kind of, I like the economics and stuff. But definitely, yeah, there wasn't, I, I, I just, I don't think it was stimulating enough, as you say, just school and then you had to go and do whatever you needed to do. Yeah, it, yeah. it is what it is. It we is what it to, is. We have to I finish it and then start our lives off. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, basically for me as well, 17, I can't remember much about 17. I remember very, very shy and yeah. also not the person that I'm now. Um, trying hard to, to be cool, trying to fit mm. in. Um, but shy, they didn't go to sockies, they didn't fry any bono. <laughs> um, uh, my dad bought me uh, a bike and that put, that kind of put me on the map a little bit with, okay. with the, all the guys yeah. and, and, and the girls. And You're part of the crew, you've got yeah, a bike. Yeah, awesome. I remember RG125, people loved the bike and that kind of put me there, but I was still, yeah, not, not the person that I'm today. Yeah, I would, I think... I, I, I'm, I'm not... That back in, back in the day, I was not the kind of person that would talk in front of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, but now... If I was 17, I wouldn't have sat here, definitely yeah. not, and talk like this. It, I think we grew into personalities over the years. 
that you weren't at 17. At 17, you were just someone who didn't know what you wanted to do. And yeah, yeah. so basically, I was a character in front of the camera. Mm. But when it, when the camera's off, shy, not talking a lot. Yeah. So, so, so I think that the one of the most creative people or the most creative people rather are very introverted yeah. because mm. you you you're very Definitely. methodical and both mm. of you are i, I, I picked yeah. that up both of you are like how will this work how will this look yeah. can you potentially change something yeah. but but you know the value that you yeah. Provide people so you can switch it on. Yeah. Boom! Yeah, I'm yeah, in yeah, front yeah. of the camera. He's I have to do my thing now. Definitely, he's, he's it's, it's, it's definitely one of those things, and it's an interesting f thing that you've mentioned now. Is mm. that a lot of creators out there, or stand-up comedians, or whoever is is they are people. We get it a lot. I get it a lot. Where people mm. say, "Listen, Guman or Quentin, we you need to come and ride our house because yeah. you will make <laughs> us laugh the whole day." And then you're like, <laughs> and "No, it's, it's, no, I'm not gonna be." I'm, quiet i'm gonna sit there i'm gonna listen i'm gonna pick up stories and but when it's in yeah. front of people when when it's showtime it's a different story and i've heard it from mm. comedians as well they're funny on stage but back off stage yeah they, they're introverted they're, like they're, they're quiet in their own space they yeah. look around pick up stuff yeah, that, and with him it was in terms of the video now that you mentioned uh, you know he's, he's been doing it for his whole life he's had a camera and I remember the videos I saw of him when we met even. Um, what was that show's name? He um, had to make videos for a show. And I thought, okay, well, you, you're you very creative, you know? And uh, yep. Yeah, yep, yeah, for yep, it was, he made it was a, Yep videos. was a show on MK89 back in the day, the Afrikaans music channel that okay. yeah. started on. And I'm, yeah, but in anyway. So. Yeah, but, but he was actually doing what he's doing yeah, well, like, for quite yeah. long, yeah. since 17. Yeah, so so since I think it's... Time. It's a very cool message to the people watching that, yeah. you know, just because you are shy and just because you, you, you're not an extrovert to yeah. say, hey, here I am, look at me, doesn't mean you can't create good yeah. quality content that's got a powerful message yeah. and that's, that's, you know, people actually want to hear. Definitely, mm. my, yeah. my wife says to me, now, Bobby, if people only knew, like, how you conduct yourself on the weekend, yeah. what do you mean? So we, we have training every morning. Yeah. I speak to... 200 people at the same time mm. it's very stressful for me yeah. and and you know the ideal situation is sitting at my desk with my little staffy next yeah. to me you know chilling out on my yeah. own just be on your own introverted yeah, yeah mm. but yeah. but when it's time to if i feel that the world needs to hear mm. this mm. you, you can switch it on yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. no it's definitely definitely I'm yeah he's like, I'm, I'm more quite. the extra uh, the one who needs people but he's definitely on yeah. his own Only space child, and i can literally be on myself week two weeks yeah. i love it you're comfortable, I'm comfortable yeah, no. i don't need people where she she needs to be around people i love to be around people but yeah. uh, i can i can be on my own literally for two weeks three weeks i don't mind mm. so beautiful yeah. Let, let's jump into la hawa mm. so we we now know how it started one day just mm. random video mm. um people love the angle mm. you know the, the the culture is that of we don't mind a little bit of raw comedy yeah. you yeah. know it's we, we love that sort mm. of thing and 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 you very on point with your topics yeah. it's what's happening now yeah, we, you you, yeah. you remind me of like a nando's ad yeah because it's it's <laughs> like right there and then boom it's it's like oh that's very yeah. funny uh, you know, how did we jump into i mean you've got a you've got a company that produces wedding videos yes. and corporate events you mm. do filming and prefer, you mm. are the man behind the camera yeah. You, my friend, yeah. you run a company that does recruiting, training, yeah. logistics. You, you're a proper businesswoman. Mm. You've got a brain on you mm. for business. How, how do we get to low hour? Because like, I wouldn't picture you two doing yeah. that. Let's, yeah. What's the angle and where is it going? Where, where can we see you go? Well, like she said, it started by accident. She was, I was always making videos. It's been part of my life for... Uh, a lot of people think it's an overnight sense, a success. It, it's not. So a it's lot been, of practice, it, yeah. Mm. A lot of content. Uh, yeah, yeah, it takes yeah. 10 years to be an overnight success. And in this um, situation, it's about 20 years I've been making videos my whole life. Mm. Um, so the law I always started by accident. Mm. Because she was never part of my videos. I was always making the one playing two characters at the same time, yeah. Yeah. Trying, to be, trying to be funny. Not really. Here and there, people laughed a little bit, but. And then one morning, uh, I've, I've asked her, listen, I saw, I saw a joke uh, uh, on TikTok. And I said, listen, let's copy the joke 
but just make it Afrikaans. It's just a one-liner joke. So I've, make I've, it our own. Yeah. Mm. And I said to her, listen, um, just play this role with me. Yeah. And uh, she said, okay, it was one morning early, sitting in bed, and we did this one-liner scene. And yeah. Without Fais makeup on, yeah. so just again. Posted it on Facebook, <laughs> and it did well. People liked it. Yeah. And basically our first three episodes. Yeah. Um, started out like that. Yeah, yeah. So we, we made a few, uh, another one, he said, okay, let's try another one. Then we just saw, okay, the people are going crazy. But we actually, on WhatsApp, it went crazy. We didn't know that. So on WhatsApp, we kind of saw the people sharing, sharing the videos and, and people phoning us. All of them. And yes. we were, we, we didn't know that. So, so that's why, well, then it started. So then yeah. we, he so, said, well, this is going to be consistent. It's going to become professional. Yeah, this is, so the businesswoman who never wanted to be in videos yeah. <laughs> became part of it now. People love yeah, her. Yeah. And now she can't get out. So. No, no. And to be and honest, I love and, a, and a lot of my friends joke about it, but they say she makes, it's, it's because of her that the, the Cumin page is such a success now. And, and it's true. I think, but, but I think in, but in terms of... But we found our niche as well. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and I think you in terms of the corporate world or my business, I love working with people. So it's kind of just similar to me. Uh, my clients who knows me, they know I'm kind of funny. I will sit there and do... I'll be the same person that I am. Even though the character in the law is not totally the same as who mm. I am. But I do have a sense of that. The similarities, and yes, yeah. And that's why I think it's for me like a hobby. You know, it's normal. It's funny. So for us, it's like a hobby. We just do the videos for fun and then we're out there yeah. and we go back to our normal work and try to make money there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. The, the, the law actually started out as as your Frau Law I was slant. That okay. was the that was the story name. Yeah. Because okay. So I don't long, know why. So I long. Just, because of the first episode, I just I had to think about of of a cap a uh, caption and I said, okay, well, as your Frau Law I was yeah, yeah. Let's make it that. And then it changed to, as we progressed and becoming better, it changed to the, the JVRs, the Janse van Rensburgs. Yes. yes. <laughs> and it changed back to the, the JVRs. La 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 so there was, and, yeah, there was a lot of progress and, and yeah. changes made. And but where's the body box? Where does that come in? And like, who is that, yeah, for? That's who is that for? Fast forward the whole process now where we've got a, following a big following and we started to feel like um we need to give back we yeah. need to use the platform to yes. start giving back mm -hmm. so boring box started with her yeah i don't know it just came like you know god speaks to you that way i literally woke up one morning and i said to him that's what we're gonna do i got this message it's just clear and we started so it was december 2021 when we started our first project we said okay let's gonna we're gonna make up a box containing food for a family that can feed four people and it's specifically for Christmas because that's the festive time. So it just went crazy. When we when we posted it the people were like mad and they said yes we want to be bored and yeah it just grew and um, from there on we said well we, we've got this going. So we started the non-profit company and uh, we did our second box, which was a stationary box um, containing station. So, yeah, it, it literally grew from that. Um, I didn't think it would be like uh, becoming a business and actually becoming part of what we do every day now. Yeah. But we just saw the need. I think the need is absolutely there and the people enjoy and yeah. love to be part of it. So we just basically the middleman when basic. it comes to the, yeah, yeah. the books, the literally. Q Foundation. Uh, people, we rely obviously on public funds. Uh, we just use our platform uh, to, to get it. So the people out there, out there, there they, they're the real heroes. Yeah. We yeah, just yeah. use the platform. We're just the middleman. Yeah. So, distributing the box. so beautiful thing that you just said. You've got the platform. You've mm. got the eyeballs. You, mm. you have the attention of, oh, of the hundreds of thousands mm. of if not millions of people. Mm. And I think part of that success and why your channel is growing mm. the way mm. it is is because you're genuine. Yeah. You, you're not you're not a pretend person yeah. neither yeah. Are you and you actually want to give back to the community mm. you you want to do good you yeah. want to make people laugh which is doing good and you, you know it's impactful and here's here's yeah. our way of giving yeah back. Yeah. Mm. yeah i mean we have to uh, it's just as i say we got the message it's like clear and you just have to do it so. how do people get involved there how, how do our audience say listen i i, I love what you're doing yeah. we want to get involved what's the easiest so um way? we've got a website so yeah. human and body, human and, body yeah. Yes. Yeah. and on there you can make a donation 
Um, so we do different projects. It's the body box, which is boxes that we make up for the community. We do 200 per project, 200 boxes. Yeah. And then we also have other projects like metric uh, farewell we did like last year. And doing small projects, we recently helped um, a, a child, well, he's, he's, he's a disabled yeah, guy. We um, so we helped him. Raffle, so. Yeah, we have the raffle. We're doing a golf day now for the charity as well. So Beautiful. There's a lot of ways you can get involved, but on our website, you can mainly go mm. like... And all the new upcoming charities and events are, are constantly being updated. Yeah, there. yeah we, we, we try to, that. yes. I'm yeah. bad on the social media side. So, yeah. so, so whatever we do, yeah. we always film it and we, yes, we, just yes. keep it, we just keep the people up to date. Uh, so that yeah. they can see, because it's public funds, they need to see where it's going we are, and what we're doing. Yeah. You, you're very, you're obviously very happy in your marriage. You're very yeah. happy in your career. Your yeah. business is about to, mm. it's about to start getting momentum. Mm. Now it already has massive momentum, but you can start monetizing soon. Mm. So if you were to share with us some landmines that you've stepped in, I know marriage is, mm. I'm, I'm married. It's yeah. very hard uh, because, <laughs> yeah. you know, sometimes whether it's unintentionally, you can step in some landmine yeah. as a husband. Yeah. If you want to share some landmines in your personal life, mm. marriage, in your career, mm. you know, mistakes you've made that we can learn from and we mm. don't need to make you yeah. know, those mistakes, if you don't mind. Landmines, obviously, in married life is obviously... Every day there's one somewhere yeah. and you have to look one. out for it. That is, 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 the <laughs> landmine yeah, is that one intrude. last drink. You just need to look for <laughs> it. Landmine is that one last Okay, that's drink. a landmine, yes, a 100%. Landmine. So yeah, don't, yeah. don't have that last don't drink. Don't do that. But I don't think in, the, in our marriage... I don't know. We, we obviously we fight and we do normal stuff yeah. um, normal and we've couples. been through rough patches. I mean, I think... I think it's healthy. Fight it's very healthy. You have to. Yeah, yeah. Debates. No. Let's call yeah. them debates. are very yeah. healthy. Yeah, yeah. And we can debate. <laughs> yeah, we and can. I can bait him as well. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's there. I throw out the bait and... And okay. she, and throw she throw grabs She throws out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I think in, in our marriage, I, could, I can't say we specifically had like a landmine. There's millions of them, but... You obviously step on them, you learn from them, and you don't step on them again. And yeah. you know, okay, you try that's, not that's, to. you try not yeah. to. So. We've, we've got this saying, obviously, it's a married life, and everybody's going through, it, it needs to, you need to go through yeah. difficult times, yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah, to build very, your relationship. Yeah. So we've got this saying where you need to learn how to fight in a relationship, yeah. but you need, you, you need to know how to, to, to make, make up afterwards. Yeah. Fight hard, make up. Harder so at the end yeah. of the day. It's great advice because mm. we, I, I've got that, I've, I've lived by that motto mm. and I run my company that mm. way. When, mm. we, when we have a manager's meeting, I, I mean, the ladies in our company have got personalities, yeah. you know, yeah, that's huge. Great. Yeah. So we've got rules of engagement. Mm. Mm. There will be no swearing. Yeah. Uh, mm. You know, you, you're not going to, you're not going to, everything will be left here. Mm. You're yeah. not going to talk about it outside after the meeting's done yeah. so these are the rules you'll be respectful but you'll yeah. be hard until yeah. you get your point across yeah. yeah and if you have rules of mm. engagement it's it's easy yeah. to have a debate yeah yeah, yeah. then you can yeah, yeah you can easily do it without killing each other without breaking the rules and that uh, yeah and putting the bait on i the think bait. <laughs> <laughs> i think when it comes to when it comes to the industry land is, is, yeah um there's quite a lot as well we've all been through that this is we we trust too easily and, and and having a big page there is sometimes a lot of people taking advantage of situations and you do favors and at the end of the day you realize now it's you realize that it comes back and it yeah. bites you in the ass and so a lot of people yeah trusting too too easily is the think biggest in, landmine that um yeah and in, and in corporate world as well I, i'm i'm kind of in my situation i've been through a lot in my small career time. Um, I took over a company from my dad, so my, it's a family business, and it's Navigating very difficult. Navigating that is very, it's very, very difficult. difficult. Very. And um, is dad still involved? Yes, he is, but he's like retired, so you know he can't not be involved. He loves to be there. Um, he's kind of the expert, the brains behind everything. He's got he's you got enormous ideas. amounts of knowledge that you can't yeah you I can't replace that, but. But yeah, I've made mistakes in the business a lot and I've definitely learned from it. Um, there's a lot of things that I won't do in the future. Wrong partners, stuff that happen and, mm. and you know, okay, that's, it's, it's good that I went through it at such a young age um, before I got this you know, big company running and you know, you had a lot to lose, but it costed me a lot of money. Mm. So, and I paid the, 
but yeah, obviously there's there's a lot of things in business that I've I've um, learned. You know, don't trust anyone. Make sure you know what you're doing. If you make the wrong decision, then Perfect. it's your decision. Yeah. Just just learn from it. Um, so yeah. I've asked earlier about how it is when couples work together. Yeah. Ask her about how it is when three sisters <laughs> oh, work man. together. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's a whole different story. Yeah. Difficult to navigate that. Yes. But yeah, on, your, on your trust point, you know, mm. somebody taught me this a while ago and it served me so well. You know, we, we've we met and, uh, you know, we, we're hanging out. Mm. We, we're cool. We can go and have a, a coffee. We can go for supper. Um, you know, that's a certain trust level. Yeah. We trust each other to mm. be in that environment. The moment that you bring a business transaction into the yeah. picture, mm. the trust level is at a zero. Mm, definitely. If, at, at friendship, hanging mm. out level, we are at 10. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. We yeah. always have a jaw. But when it comes to business, mm. we need to spend more time in that yeah. context yeah, for me to realize true. do I trust yeah. you. Yeah, there's no zero trust whenever you start a business what, what are you willing to do? Mm to get this outcome. And if you say to me, I'm willing to do whatever it takes, mm. sometimes it's a red flag for me because mm. willing to do whatever it takes and hurt your relationship with other people yeah, yeah. is not the person I would want to. Yeah. I'm willing to do X, Y, Z to get this done. The moment this yeah. happens, I'm willing to walk away. Yeah. Then I'll trust And me. your gut is actually so true because my gut at that stage when I made Very the decision true. told me no and you still go with it. and. That's always trust your gut. If you know this is kind of not working, he's also been through it in his business, you know, you feel, no, this is, I'm not comfortable. Yeah. Then you just say, no, just do it, don't do it. That's it. Yeah. Awesome. And when there's no videos being shot, when there's no planning, yeah. when it's just the everyday life, who are you guys? Do you just hang out, chill, watch mm. a movie, yeah. play with the kids? I mean, we've got two kids, so obviously we love spending How time. How old are your children? Two and five. Two and wow. Yeah, so it's, so it's lovely. two girls, so... Yeah, wow. he's, he's surrounded by women. What a lovely. This now, at the age of two and five, I don't want to know what's going to happen at 13. I don't want to know what's going to happen at 16. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. It's <laughs> they crazy. They definitely keep him it's, on his toes. For me as well, but I think for him. Uh, each morning, it's like, you wonder what type of morning is it going to be? Is it going to be a good mood mo morning? <laughs> it's womanly. So it yesterday, it was a good mood morning. Today was a slightly but yeah, of a yeah. bad mood morning. It's just that, guys. And yeah. it can That's change any are. minute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah that land those landlines, those landlines, you have to obviously step. spending time with them. Yeah, we, we try and to we, spend time, especially because we're busy throughout the weekends as well with these weddings. So we really try to spend as much time with them. And then we obviously have a good social life. I'm, yeah. I love my social yeah. life. So Love to social yeah, with we, people. We like um, people. So. I'm a rugby fanatic, so I love rugby. So I make a lot of rugby content on yeah, the page so I have as to well. go to Loftus with so them. So I like uh, nice. uh, yeah. pissing off supporters, especially the Western Province supporters. Nice. So. <laughs> yeah, no. um, but yeah, I love spending time at home. Yeah. Friday nights is a pizza night. Mm. Saturdays, basically, if there's rugby, we need to we all get together. We need to go to rugby. It's like a need. It it's, a, it's, it's a non-negotiable. We don't need to go. We just need to go and sit somewhere. <laughs> yeah. You and need yeah. to definitely see it. Yeah. Yeah. So Have a brandy and yeah, watch the rugby. And, um, we're very yeah. normal in our yeah. social life and our personal I life. I think so. we love a social, uh, social uh, party, whatever you call Kairki. it. Kairki. Yeah. Kairki. Yeah, so too much. Fair. We love it too much. So yeah. we, we stoke for that. So yeah. <laughs> What's the best advice that you've ever been given? Yes, I would say trust the process. Like, um, just I think we are we are always. I, I'm at my age. I'm trying to kind of get everything at once and just be successful and get. I mean, I, we've got children. Your children now is your priority. So you literally try everything to be the major success, but it's not going to happen. It's taken twenty years. Mm. It it doesn't happen overnight. So so I just want to stop you. I'm sorry to interrupt you. A sign of a high performer, true high performer, mm. is wanting everything yeah. in all areas of their life. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Yes, yes. yes. Absolutely no, nothing wrong with just that. Just be yeah. realistic and know that it's yeah. not going to happen overnight. Just keep on yeah. going and so, just... But it, it will happen. Yeah. It will happen, yeah. And that's, I think, I've learned that. Um, uh, the, the journey we've been on and everything that started happening, it's kind of weird, strange. I've never in my life... But I'm really just praying and saying, oh, whatever happens, happens. Oh, it's not my Trust plan. The Trust the process. So, yeah, that's. I, I would say that's kind of 
Um, for me, there's basically one that uh, my dad taught me. He taught me the one thing that he said is never get hooked. Now, this is especially for me when it comes to, I'm a person, especially when you have a big following, there is people, the social media warriors, keyboard mm. warriors sitting there saying something. And he always tells me never get hooked in the situation because I'm that type of person. I want to, if you tell me something, I want to engage you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to bite back. And he's taught me that. And, and, and all, uh, that's something that I always think about when somebody say something rude. Mm. Because they, people, they say bad stuff on social media because they don't know your situation. And then I just, uh, that's something that I live by. But he's very good at handling those stuff because he, he doesn't back down, what do you call it? I like, don't back down. Yeah, I, 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 you would I put them on their place. I'm not and, rude and back to kind them. Of say but to them. inside, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give it to you now. So, and, so if, you, if you think about it in this context and, you know, having having a lot of eyeballs and a lot of attention puts a lot of pressure on mm. you. So I've, I've learned this from, from, from people that have millions of followers. Mm. And the, the key or the golden thread is, if you have a critic or somebody mm. giving you feedback and it's constructive, so mm. for example, somebody says, you know, we've, we love your channel. Yeah. We feel that uh, your channel adds value. Mm. Uh, however, uh, you know, all 10 interviews that you've done in the last yeah. four months have been male. Mm. Is there a reason for that? Mm. Now, you know, is this a male only channel? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that's, that's like, I'm like, wow, yeah. mm. very good feedback. Okay. That's, that's criticism that's is, uh, you, you know, are you an yeah. uh, anti-female yeah. channel yeah. and then gets attacking. I'm like, thank you very yeah, much for bringing it to our attention. But if someone says, you know, I think this, this, this and this, it mm. should go yeah. in here. Out yeah. here, out and yeah. just rather than engage into yeah, a fight, yeah, yeah. which you can't win at the yeah. end of the no. day. No. And it's true, and that's why I say never get hooked. Yeah. Always think about the, what what is being said, and it's like you said, uh, is it constructive criticism yeah. or is it just somebody that wants to, the, to the, say something? The key yeah. is just keeping your ego in yeah. check and and realizing, wow, this hurts, mm. but this is true. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, know, yeah. you know, damn it, it's like. Ugh, yeah, yeah. It's but very, you need to hear it. You it's, need to yeah. hear yeah. it, and then you can pivot and, mm. and improve. Yes. Other thing now that I've, I've recently read now, and, and, and um, I like it very much, is uh, be in control of your passions and don't let your passions control you. Yes. That's something that I, mm. I live by now. And I'm in a situation now, the last couple of weeks, where um, it is a job now. The law is, it is a job. Yeah. It is a people commitment. Want, yeah, yeah. People, people want, want to it, see they, episodes. They're waiting, yeah. So now... Um, I can't sleep at night because you need to think about content. You need to put something up mm. there. And uh, then it becomes a stressful situation. and Creativity you start, drops. Yeah. yeah. The and more you start you stress, focusing the on all the negativity. And, 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 and it's not always easy between us. Sometimes my frustrations yeah. are, uh, I take it out on her uh, in a good way. Um, I, mean, I, I do it <laughs> But in anyway, so, in and I said way, to her no. last week, I said to her last week, um, um, I, um, I'm very thankful for it. And I've, yeah. I've been in a situation where my passions are starting to control me and not me being in control of yeah, my yeah. passions. So that's something yeah, that I, I like think very you, much. I think you need to like know that he knows every week that something comes up. I mean, yeah. For some reason, it just it's there. So just trust the process. You trust know, everything process. happens and it, it will happen. So... And yeah. yeah, sometimes you get hooked in in your in your world of work or wherever you get stressed. You need to do th things, and yeah. then all of a sudden you kind of blank out. And especially with creativity, I mean, you can't have that in your life. With creative minds, you have to like be relaxed and calm and kind of have enough sleep and do everything. Yeah. And then yeah, creative people are very sensitive. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, very sensitive, uh, uh, and it's. It's a piece of art that you're putting out yeah. there. If you say anything negative exactly, about it, like yeah. a piece of my soul mm. is, is, yeah. is laid out yeah, and yeah. you're critiquing it's that. So, yeah. so and it, that's, that's, that's normal. And the, the sensitive part comes in whenever you, you think, let's say we make an episode mm. and, and you've put in so much time and you expect the response is going to be yeah. massive <laughs> and there's no response or it didn't go as planned. So then you start doubting yourself and you start asking questions is this thing not working anymore? Whatever, whatever. And, mm. and it's, it's good sometimes to, to have a break, to relax. Um, I don't need to put an episode out. 
That's Literally. why I think you compliment each other yeah. well. Because She's very good at it. She'll tell you, listen, yeah. man, just let's yeah. do the next one. Yeah. It'll be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's very good at it. And she's, she's when it comes to advice, uh, I don't always like it because yes. it's true. <laughs> what she says is what true. Did, say Accountability. Huh? You're going to cut that. <laughs> say that, that yeah. No, we're not. Cut that. No, we're not. <laughs> Taking advice from your wife. Do I can tell you Instagram video we as well. No, but she's very good at it. And uh, um, yeah, and I'm always and, and right. I, will, no. I won't choose any other. I'm always I'm right. Just right. Saying this. Saying I'm well. not just wow. saying this because he's sitting here, but she's <laughs> she's very good at keeping me calm, telling me, listen, this yeah. is the situation. You need to think about this, and this is the reason. And she makes me feel better. So. Oh, I think we complement yeah, each we, other, and we we can make each other mad as well. We, yeah, it's. It's kind of balancing each other's out, eh? Long hour. <laughs> Long hour. Long hour. Changing Long hour. into real hour. So, <laughs> yeah. so, obviously, that's a beautiful mm. relationship that you have. If you could share, I mean, kids mm. running a big company, mm. running an, a, a big company as well, mm. you know, having so much attention together mm. in a different company mm. from non-profits. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, in your marriage, like, to have this... Mm to have this at this stage of your life? If you could share some advice, what's the best advice that you can give you know, other married couples that are also going through life, just mm. like we all are? I, my thing is, and I've only realized it as we were married and you know, grew together, is that he can't make me happy. No one can make me happy. Ooh, I can't make him advice. happy. So, and I'm not here to change him, I'm here to change myself. So. Yeah. You can't change me and I can't change him. That's just it. Mm. You are in control of who you are and your feelings. So if I'm making you mad, it's you making yourself. You need to focus on how to make yourself happy. And um, that I've started, you know, as we grew and, you know, you, you always have something that you don't like of your spouse. They will always be something. I mean, I can, I can write a book about it. And <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, but like one page maybe. Hey, that, was like one. that was a lot. That was a lot. I was going to say there's like at least one or two. Okay, one <laughs> or two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Not okay, a okay, book. One page. Uh, <laughs> not, a, not a book. One. No, Give us not one. A, <laughs> you're, uh, always leave the, yeah. leave the fridge open. The, oh, the fridge is bad. It's is that bad? For some reason, I leave the fridge open. Why but he doesn't do the normal stuff that men apparently do like... On the floor, what do you call it? I don't know, pee pee spatzels, a bit fluid. We've got good aim. Apparently, he's got a good aim, yes. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing, okay? Um, uh, yeah, 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 we had an episode our, about that. On our bathroom, it's that, or, or we've got a message that says, you know, our aim is to keep this bathroom clean. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So oh, aim. Please align your aim with our aim. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. That's a good that's one. That's good. Yeah, but yeah, so there's uh, simple things, you know. He's a very, uh, he's, a, he's an OCD guy, so he's got two children messing the house up and I'm, so I'm he's all got relaxed. Help. And uh, he's crazy about that. I mean, the place yes. has to be clean. Yeah. And sometimes that frustrates me because I'm like, you've got two children, you've got two dogs, yeah. it's not going to go. But in any case, but yeah, the, I think the point is, is um, we, you will always have something that you don't like about the other yeah. person. Don't try and change it. That's who they are. Change yourself mm. and be happy about yourself. Literally, it's yeah. work. It's every morning you need to wake up and you need to work on your marriage. Yeah. Like we yeah. said, now learn how to fight. You're gonna fight. Stand up for yourself. Have some rules. Yeah. I have rules. Yeah. But make up order at mm. the end of the day. If you if you start off with being happy within, mm. and you focus on on that, yeah. you can make other people happy. But exactly. You, it will it will just go hundred yeah. percent. If you focus on making your spouse happy the mm. whole time yeah. and you're unhappy, it's not a it's not a long term, it's not no. an evergreen yeah, uh, yeah. strategy. It will fail eventually it will fail yeah. badly for you. Definitely, yeah. no. So that that would be my advice. Beautiful. Awesome advice. I'll write a book yeah. about it again. Okay. Awesome advice. <laughs> great, <laughs> great stuff. If you two could spend a day with someone mm. dead or alive. Who would that person be for you? And what would you ask that person? And, so, you know, the same question. But ladies first. Mm. Let's see if she picks a guy. Oh, Bobby from Mid-Mac Oh, wow. Well, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't know. Um, I've got, I think I, there's a lot of people I would like to spend time One with. One person? Dead or alive? Oh. And what would you ask that person? Mm. It must be like a local person or no. anyone. It can be anyone. 
you, you're going to laugh at me, but Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> or any of the Kardashians. I just want to know the story. I know they tell us the success or the story behind the success. And she I'm not talking about, that yeah, I don't, I'm not talking the about that. <laughs> no, but I would just like to see how they got to that. I, I don't know. I, Brilliant business family. Yeah, I think a business family. That's Brilliant. exactly what they teach each other is the business side of it. And you're working yeah. together. And that's why they're successful. So, I don't what know. What would you ask him? If she was saying, oh my in, goodness, uh, like one question, like, Kim? you have a fake bum. Oh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 That's not real. <laughs> no, I think, uh, yeah, I think that would be the question. How do you and your sisters and everyone work together and um, actually still kind of get to where you are? You're successful. And where do you get all the You're time to do everything? You're in a similar situation. You are. Yeah, I am, yes, yes. Yeah. So I think it's important to be each other's um, support system or whatever. And complement mm. each other. And complement, yeah. But yeah, and, and where does she get all the time to do everything? I think it's a, uh, I don't know, for me, I think time management a lot of these important. famous people, yeah. you know, they've, it's yeah, time management that's kind of very important. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't have someone specifically. I, I think you'll get great feedback from it, definitely. <laughs> and you, sir? Mine, easy. Minky van der Westen. Oh, of course. On the beach. Just wanna, I in the we bar, don't need when, to talk. when she showers, you will want to know what she's doing. <laughs> no, no, no. When, uh, she, for me, when she dresses. This, uh, this <laughs> is not only Have you one. ever met Minky? Never. No, he will, one he will get stage fright. I've never seen in real life. Yeah. So I've, I've been interviewed by Minky. I, I was on a show. Oh, I, really? Yes, <laughs> yes. I'll give you my feedback. On she's a boosterke vrouw. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no. So, y you know, we. We, we got invited, uh, me and, 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 and Vince, you know, we, yeah. we jumped on the plane. I mean, Vince, my best friend, so yeah. we, you know, we boys. Yeah. Um, so we've got this expectation of what she's like mm. um, yeah. in yeah, real yeah. life and land in this um, Cape Town studio. We walk yeah. and walk. It's like a massive yeah. building that you walk through. And I'm expecting, you, you know, a girl that's... Obviously, from what you yeah, see in the yeah. magazines, yeah. it's going to be, you know, this big ego, this, uh, you, you know, model and, and this, this queen that, yeah, that yeah. you know, we, we don't have access to, like the total opposite, extremely yes. friendly, yeah. accommodating. Thank you very much for coming. You guys came from Pretoria, yeah. Yeah. very well researched on, on who we I are, do, what yeah, we do, that's important. Had, that's a, like had a beautiful conversation <laughs> she's she's really cool you'll have fun um, that's not the reason why he likes her <laughs> well he, he's gonna like her because of that as well so that's just gonna add person now she's gonna add yeah. more value to you yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, amazing uh, person if, if i need i can't choose one there's a couple of and it's all creators um mm. that there's this um a pizza mckinnon and there's a um dan mays which is from south africa just to, to pick his brain on how is it how is it possible to be so creative? Mm. Peter what Kevin. is his process? Like, what does he, yeah. what is, what yeah, does he it's, do? It's really impossible. I can't see how a person can be so creative with coming up with stuff. Uh, but there's a lot. There's a, there's a uh, Casey Neistat um, who's, who's making a success with his blogs not being perfect. And how is it possible g doing stuff like that where I'm a person, everything needs to be perfect. He comes and shows us... Um, just do it. And Just do yeah, it. Yeah, don't worry. And, and, and it will work out. So there's yeah. a couple of people that are, and, and it's all creators. This is uh, part of why your channel is so brain. successful. I just mm. got it. Your mm. passion. Mm. Yeah, he literally. Off yeah. charts. My yeah. And it's, it's, it's really learning from everyone out there, learning a little bit there, learning yeah. a little bit there, learning a little bit there. Improving, all adjusting, implemented adjusting, adjusting. In, in your process going forward. So, yeah. So, Beautiful. yeah. Beautiful. Uh, if you two could be a fly against the wall mm. and overhear a conversation, who would you want to overhear speaking? Like if it was a room, who's in the room and who's speaking? Mm. Joe Black said he wants to know where the Kruger gold is. Oh, you yes. know, he would <laughs> love to be in that conversation. Yeah, who would you want to overhear? No, I don't. Yes, uh, yeah, I'm going to be... I would want to sit somewhere in, in the president's... Uh, <laughs> office and just listen. Mm. Just be, Im imagine being in uh, no, yeah, in the prison. I don't know. Um, uh, for me, it's, it's 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 just being a fly against wall in any behind the scenes. Yeah, behind yeah. the scenes situations. In That's what I want to say. Doesn't yeah. matter where it is. For example, this setup here. 
seeing just what's seeing going what's on. Just seeing what's how it's going being in. Being in, in, in a changing room before a box game. I just want to be there. I want to listen yeah. to what they're really talking about. Not the things that they say on TV. I want to hear what really goes on. Yeah, yeah. So every situation that intrigues me, I want to be there just knowing how it yeah. knowing how it, it's done um looking at videos um and seeing different types of angles that has been used in a shot i just want to be there i just want to see how it was done mm. how did you get that up. shot beautiful so that's basically i want to be yeah. a fly everywhere yeah <laughs> in a lot of situations. anything creative going on everything you want to see how yeah. how the how the mechanics how the gears work how it works this whole process what's mm. going on um yeah, awesome. the scene, so. yeah, yeah. Awesome. Now, mm. first car. What was your first car? Corsa Light. Corsa light, light. Side of light. Nice. <laughs> your first car. <laughs> so my, uh, our parents bought us one car for the free girls. Um, okay. So that was not my first car, but it's the one. It was a Corolla, Toyota Corolla, a cream, ugly, but ugly cream one with brown seats. It was not. Those cars lost. Forever. Yeah, they actually mm. do. Yeah, my sister forever. actually drove the one. I, I, I was too shy to drive. <laughs> drive it. I was like that. No, I'm not gonna. Uh, but my first car that I bought for myself was a Hyundai i20. There. I20. Yeah, yeah. Nice. What was the, the Kia? Yeah, but that's again. It wasn't like my own car. I, bought I remember for myself. when I met her. You drove the Kia, and the one side was the door that's was my smashed sister. in. Yeah. Like crazy. I remember the first time driving with her, knowing the door looks like <laughs> this, going to Hatfield. And I'm not driving I, I'm a, I'm a in those small driver, little streets. It was a Roy Wayne flag. Yes, yeah, it, but it was but a it bad, it was me. like a hectic Roy Wayne flag. <laughs> yeah, that was luckily not me, no. <laughs> That's what she said now. Mine was the Corsa Light. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And but he was quite scared to drive about with me. The Corsa Light is my dad won the car at the Comrades. Yeah. At the Comrades. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He runs. He did, yeah. yeah. He did. So he did a couple of comrades, and the, the the interesting thing about that is, for some reason, that whole year he said, "At the comrades this year, I'm gonna win a car." Yeah. And it's just like obviously, mm, you're gonna win a car. You laugh at the, it's a joke and everything. And um, getting to Durban at the expo, the car stood there, the Corsa, and there was a security guard, and he said to the security guard, "This is my car." I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna win this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's Obviously the security is like Shut Okay. Up. You're yeah. gonna win it. That that's number seven hundred and fifty yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard this. And, yeah. and and back then, uh, now when it is the comrades, everybody can enter to win a car. If you're just a viewer watching the comrades, you can, you can. enter. Back yeah. then yeah, it's only for the runners. That. Yeah. So they they chose ten or twelve random runners during the day. I don't know how that it worked. There's a chip on your shoe. And then if you go past a certain point at a certain time, um, they choose your number. And when you get to the at the, the, to the finish line, they, they tell you they send you, you the stand a chance to win a car. Yeah. And um, for some reason, uh, I remember we were at home. My, my grandma was looking after me, and we changed the channel, and suddenly there's my dad on, on TV. TV with twelve <laughs> other people standing there, and and obviously you, you're getting a chance now to win a yeah. car. Yeah. So the, the announcer said, listen, there's 10 boxes in front of you. Each choose a box. Yeah. And <laughs> everybody went forward and they, they chose and he, a box. He and he didn't. He just the person stood behind. He, he yeah, just gave stood everyone his, he, the he chance. Everyone choose their box and he took the, the last, last one. He took the last at the one. Key, yeah. <laughs> and then as they opened the box, obviously, I think there was keys in every box. There's and a key you and you had to try and open it. Try yeah. to open the door. I think that was the thing. And the moment he opened it, he yeah. opened the door. Beauty. Yeah, and it was such awesome. a yeah, and you won the car. And, it was and that car, we went wherever in Loftus. They they broke in yeah. at the car like millions of times, but of course they. Did. Yeah, but the, the, the funny thing about <laughs> stuff my handbag, but it's fine. The car was still there. The next day, sorry, just to get back, uh, when he fixed the car, now he went straight. Uh, to go and buy Max for the course of that, so it looked <laughs> yeah. a little bit bulky. It, it, yeah, yeah. 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 Attitude. That, he bought that bulldog sticker. sticker. I don't yeah. know if you remember, remember those. those. Yes. Standing yes. like this, he bought the sticker and he put it at the back of the car. Bye bye. And, cool. Um, yeah. So yeah, we and then the car. car. So basically, I wasn't standing far back then, and then it became my first car. Yeah, um, in high school story. and all of yeah, that. It was a lucky story. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. What color? White. White. Yeah. White. 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 I don't know if you remember those adverts. The guys that were yeah. light. Yeah. Light. Yeah. Yeah. Light. Side of yeah. life. Yeah. Good yeah. adverts. Yeah. yeah. I remember yeah. them. I'll yeah. never forget yeah. them. What's your dream car? If money was no object and you could have any car in the world, 
Uh, I, I would say G-Wagon. I've never really Kim. drove That's one. Kim. That's Kim. Yeah. But <laughs> it just looks so lu like a, I don't know, it's a black one or something. You a know? black one. Yeah. I think that would be. I'm not a fast car type of lady. I like, I don't know. Ma'am, I wish you buy one in every color. That's what yes. I wish for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Well, my dear. I'm not sure. <laughs> if you give it's, us a good price. I've, I've never been very much of a car guy. Um, yeah. But I've, I think if I have to try one thing, if I have to buy, I've never driven one. It's the new V3 on it. What is it? The Toyota, the big. Oh, the uh, Land the Cruiser. Oh, the VX. The, the VX. Yeah, VX. Yeah, yeah. Car. The yeah you Super. like that one, actually. I like yeah. it very much. I yeah. like it very That's much. That's like a tank. It's but very I, big. <laughs> I don't know how to drive, so, but I, I, I think it's amazing. So so. We, we're very fortunate. We've I've driven. There's like nothing we haven't driven. Mm. Had a few G-Wagons. The best. Really? Had a few VX 200s. The yeah. best. Yeah. So both of those. Are, I hope yeah. you get one in each color as well. So. well yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to make a lot of videos. Yeah, yeah. They <laughs> you will. Really you will. You're just getting started. <laughs> favorite book. What's your favorite book? I don't read books. Um, Not a big reader. Yeah. What's I really, I read movie? the Bible. <laughs> so the Bible is literally the that's the best book. My basic instruction before leaving Earth. That's, that's what the Bible for me is. I would really just read the Bible. I think it's, you know, it gives you advice on finances, on everything. everything. On so life. the Bible is for me. But yeah, that's literally the only book I read. <laughs> Beautiful. So yeah, um, that's. I love reading. Yeah, he's a big reader. Mm, so the last book that I've, I've read, I'm busy with 12 Rules of Life now, but it's a difficult read for me. Mm. Uh, from Jordan, um, what is his name? But in, anyway, uh, the book that I love the most is The, the, the subtle, subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. What a good book and, and obviously teaching you how Yeah. Um, oh, you not like to... That in here and out here. Mm. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you only life have so is much full to of give. struggles and you need to choose your favorite, like I said, like they said, choose your favorite sit, shit sandwich. Yeah. Everything that if you want to, if you want to make videos, you obviously, there is parts of, of, of making videos that you're not going to yeah. love. Mm. Yeah. And you need to, to make peace with that. Yeah. Not everything you're going to love. Is, uh, and it's yeah. like you said now, in here, out there, not everything in life is as bad yeah. as it seems yeah. so. as you make it out to be in your own mind yeah, yeah. Okay. awesome now what's next where can where can we expect to see you uh like <laughs> new content coming out what's next tell us about what's coming up um biggest thing for us now is our, our, our golf day obviously obviously videos every week trying to put out an episode every week or some sort of funny content yeah, yeah. um golf day coming up for us and uh, emceeing a lot of events mm. now as well. So uh, we've, got, kind of we've got a lot of plans like for future, but a, mm. a lot of them haven't it started step by step. So we definitely have plans to e expand our yeah. social yeah. media content. You know, we want to do a little bit of podcasting. I, want, I would love to start my own uh, range of products. I'm busy with that. So... So there's kind of a lot of things we yeah. focusing on um, on the training side as well. I would like to. There's a lot of plans I've got there. So, um, but yeah, as I say, we kind of one we, step at a one time. step at a time. And we a of, yeah. we are poor and we are two people. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so we do. Yeah, we try. We've got little resources to just make everything yeah. happen at so, at so one time. You, you don't need resources. You need energy. Yeah, yeah that's which you, true. You, I mean, the Lord gives us mm. energy every morning. Yeah. Yeah. When you yeah. wake up, you need to be thankful because you've mm. got another day to yes. make an impact. Yeah. You guys are impactful. Yeah. You're a power couple. Yeah. It was amazing spending time with you. Thanks. I love the energy Thanks, you guys Bobby. bring. <laughs> and uh, yeah, can't wait to see all the new stuff. Yeah, well, you, right. you're making it easy for us on the yeah. interview. You're the, you're the energetic yeah. one here, so no, I'm thank not. you. I'm just reflecting what I did. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> it was like, a, and uh, we appreciate it. Yeah. People actually wants to hear our story. It's, it's, it's not always, it's, it's, it's weird sometimes because we, yeah. we see ourselves as normal people making stupid videos. And we love yeah. it that people that, approach us saying thank you, wants to hear our story. So you touch lives, it. you're current, you are... You are relevant and lots of people love your content. Thank you. Don't really. stop. Thank Keep you. doing it. Yeah, that's the problem. Don't stop. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we get that a lot. Don't stop and then like, okay, yeah, no, we'll keep on. We appreciate it. Awesome. Man. It was great having you. Thanks, Bobby. Thanks Good a lot. Good stuff. <laughs>